This is module three, the end of module review, side one. Our objective this week, or for this unit, was I can multiply and divide in units of zero, one, six through nine, and multiples of ten. Number one, Uncle Chris and two other friends decide to share a cab to go to the mall. If they each spend seven dollars, how much did the cab ride cost altogether? Write an equation using a letter to represent the unknown. Solve. So I'll, I know that I have Uncle Chris and two friends. So that gives me a total of three people. Each of those people is paying $7 for the cab ride. I need to figure out how much they spent on the ride altogether. To do this, I need to write an equation, use a letter, and solve. So I have three friends going in a cab. They are each paying $7. That will give me the total cost of the cab ride. If I multiply 3 times $7, R will equal $21 because counting by 7s three times, 7, 14, 21. Number 2. Uncle Chris's two friends each order eggs and orange juice for breakfast. Uncle Chris orders only pancakes. Use the menu to find how much they spend all together. Write equations using letters to represent the unknown. Solve. Well, I know that Uncle Chris's two friends each got eggs and orange juice. So I have two friends that are getting eggs, which are $6, and orange juice, which is $2. Sorry about that. We're not multiplying those numbers together. We're adding to find their total. So I'm going to do that part first. 6 plus 2 is 12 so they're spending $12. Oops, it's not $12. Goodness, 6 plus 2 is $8. They're each spending $8 on their breakfast, and I have two friends that are spending that $8. So 2 times 8, 8, 16. Those two friends are spending $16. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to use F as my letter. The two friends are spending $16 on their breakfast. Then Uncle Chris spends $8 on his breakfast. So he is spending, I'm going to come up here with a different color. $16 is what his two friends spent. Plus the $8 he spent will give us our total. 16 plus 8, I can do that in my head. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. They spent a total of $24 for breakfast. B, Uncle Chris mentally checks the total using 3 times $8. Explain his strategy. Well, if we look back at the menu, $6 plus $2 equals eight dollars. Both of his friends spent eight dollars because they got eggs and orange juice and Uncle Chris spent eight dollars because he just got the pancakes. So that would be three groups of eight dollars because each friend spent that eight dollars giving us a total of twenty four dollars spent. So, Uncle Chris knew 
each person spent eight dollars. He could multiply by three to check his work. Number three, after breakfast, the friends notice a sale. Compare the crossed out prices to the new sale price. If all sale prices are calculated in the same way, what would the sale price be on an item that originally cost $16? Use words and equations to explain how you know. So if I look at the first price tag, I see the old price was eight and the new price is $4. If I count by fours up to eight, four, eight, that's two fours. So I have a problem here that is eight divided by two equals four. Next, I had $14 and now it is $7. Count by sevens until you get to 14. 7, 14. Again, it is 2. So I have 14 divided by 2 equals 7. So far, each of the prices are being divided by 2. Let's see if that pattern continues. I had $18. Now the price is $9. Count by 9s until you get 8 to 18. 9, 18. Again, our pattern is 2. 18 divided by 2 equals 9. Now I have $2. The price is now $1. Count by 1s until you get to 2. 1, 2. Oh, again, I divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. All of these problems are being divided by 2, which means if I continue the pattern, I should be dividing $16 divided by 2, which will give me my new total. Solve that problem on your own. Count by 2s until you get to 16. See how many fingers you have out. That will be your total. Then write the best words you can to explain how you solve that problem.